Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a LCD TV made by Toshiba and it has no power whatsoever. Now I'm going to put my meter in AC mode right here. We're going to check the input volts. Make sure the power cord is good. Just put it in one end here, another end right here. And right here, we're getting 120 volts AC. That's good. Next, we're going to check the power cord going to the main logic board. And if this main logic board has no standby volts, usually five volts, in some TVs it's 3.3 volts, but if this doesn't have any standby volts, your TV won't turn on. And you won't have a uh, standby light in the front panel. So let's go check our standby volts. I'm gonna put my meter in DC mode. And that's the V with the straight line. And then let's put my black probe on a ground screw right here and then put my positive probe where it says 5V uh, sometimes it could say STBY or standby so let's go ahead and do that and we got zero yep right, so next let's go ahead and check the bridge rectifier and let's go leave our meter in DC mode and I'm going to put my red probe where it says the, the plus symbol, which is the outside leg. And then my black probe on the other opposite side, on the outside leg, where it has the minus symbol. And we're only getting 2 volts DC output, which is definitely not good. Check that, switch it to AC, and the two wavy lines in the middle are the AC input on the bridge rectifier. It's 1.5, so that's not good either. So there's no volts going to my bridge rectifier. And we're gonna unplug the power. Make sure you unplug the power before you start checking fuses. And let's switch it to continuity, right here. So here's the main fuse for the power plug, the AC coming in. And that's good. Now there is fuses right here that you don't notice, that you may not recognize, and these are fusible resistors. So let's go check those. Resistor R897, location number on the board, and that is good. Check the other one, and this one is right here. <clears throat> and we're getting one ohm. And let's go check that one right near the bridge rectifier. And the bridge rectifier is on a heat sink. And I'm getting OL. So it's opened, blown open. And it should read about one ohm. And it's not reading one ohm. So yeah, this is this part's bad. And what caused that part to go bad? Because this is a fuse, and if I replace it, it may blow again. So let's go ahead and try that. black lead on a ground source which is right here in the corner and then let's check my five volts and looks like we're getting voltage but it's very very up it goes from five volts to zero five volts to zero five volts to zero see that five I got my five volts for a second and then it goes to zero and there's a irregular irregular five volts so my five volts is there but it's irregular so let's go check our bridge rectifier see so let's put my positive lead on the plus symbol a negative lead on the negative and it's fluctuating which kind of tells me maybe the uh, voltage regulator could be bad so what I did is I went on badcaps.net I want to give them a shout out badcaps 
YouTube.net is a really good source, you know, besides YouTube, to find out what's wrong with your TV, troubleshooting. And they said to um, replace your voltage regulator, which I kind of assumed because my voltage was all over the board and it was irregular. And usually if that happens, your voltage regulator will fix that problem. Is to take it out of circuit. So it usually will be on a heat sink or something. See? So right here, remember, when you take this off, make sure you put a heat sink compound back on the voltage regulator. When you're ordering a new voltage regulator, make sure you cross reference or Google this number right here, STR, okay? And then the number underneath it is the part number. And when you put on the new voltage regulator, make sure you use heat sink compound. Put it all back together. Now it's the TV remote. Now let's go ahead and test the TV. Right, TV and power. And since I have my standby volts, the TV should now turn on. I have a steady five volt standby voltage. And then the light's blinking right here. And then your TV is on. So far so good. Looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and hit the menu button. And everything looks Pretty good actually. So it looks like the TV's working. If you're not getting a steady five volts, you know, standby voltage. Well, it could be uh, blown capacitors and the power supply. But in this case, it was um, resistor, fusible resistor R850. Uh, that's the location number on the power board. And Q880 voltage regulator, which uh, I believe burned out the fusible resistor. If this video worked out for you and it helped you, give me a thumbs up and click on the share link below if you want to share it to Facebook or G+. If you know anyone in this video may help. And also subscribe to Tampa Tech for more easy common tech fixes like this one.